And so it's extremely important that we have an intelligent approach to the process and make sure that it's well planned and well thought out and not just going in and having death and destruction type workouts where the guys are going in and, and getting broken down as much as they possibly can every day. There's a lot of that that goes on in other programs across the country. Well, let's see if we can make the guys throw up today. Any idiot can pull anybody off the street and make them throw up. That's not the indication of a good strength and conditioning program or a good performance program. It's not just how much can I bench, how much can I deadlift, how much can I curl. There's so much more to it than that. It's the development of young men. It's taking guys that are still little young boys when they get here and helping us, as we all do, to turn them into grown men, mature men, on the field and off. At the end of the day, I want our guys to be able to walk out on the football field and know that they're the best physically prepared, best mentally prepared football team. I don't care how much the guys bench press. I don't care how much they squat. I care how much they can go out and play. I care that they can go out and execute properly. I care that they can go out and execute and play a full game free of injury and come back and do it again the next week.